Hey guys, Dawson here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to install Windows 10 on VMware. Okay, so you will need VMware installed on your PC and the ISO image on your PC already for you to follow along in this video. Okay, so you need to open up your VMware. Okay, this is the screen you should see. Okay, so you want to click on create a new virtual machine. Then this will come up. Okay, you will go with, will go with customize okay which is next okay then from here you can just press next all right so now from here we want to say we'll install the operating system later just click that press next okay so this is going to be a microsoft product so you'll go with microsoft windows there and here you can choose uh, windows 10 and later which is x64 okay press next okay so from here we can give our virtual machine a name okay of which i'll just set it to the way it is windows 10 like that then for me i'll just change this location i want it to be in one of my drives which has a lot of storage okay so I'll go with that um with the other virtual machines here okay so that once that is done if you don't want if you don't know anything of what I just did just go with the default location then place next okay so here you can choose what type of uh, system is going to be using firmware okay so I'll just choose BIOS for now but since the uh, system I'm using is kind of a bit old but for if you know you're having a newer system just go with UEFI okay press next okay so here now we can give it uh, processors and cores for our CPU so in this case I'll just leave everything as default since the laptop I'm using doesn't have a lot of resources okay but you can uh, adjust this to whatever you feel like okay so you can set it to that then you want to press next after adjusting the specs there okay so for memory I can set it to 4 GB okay just like that you can just slide to whatever resources you have then I want to press next okay under network type you, just, you can just leave it to NAT okay which will act as its own separate uh, network it will be on its own separate IP address and everything okay you can press next but if you want it to to be on the same network as yours just use bridged network like that that's that will connect it to your no, normal network okay, next then here you will just want to go with the recommended one which is that which is next okay here this is recommended so I'll go with my emv or nvme driver okay next so now here we want to create a new virtual disk okay you can just press next then here windows 10's minimum requirement is 60 gb so i would go with the same 60 gb like that is fine then i just want to set it to store virtual disk as a single file click on that then press next so that will be the name of our disks file okay so i can just press next okay so we are pretty much set everything up so we just need to tell the system about the iso image so you can just click on customize hardware like that then here where it says new cd just click there and say use iso image okay then here you want to navigate to the place where you store or where you downloaded your iso image so in my case i'll go under my systems windows Okay, then I would go with my Windows 10 there, double click on that. So now it knows where my Windows 10 ISO is. Then you just want to press close and you want to press finish. Okay, so now that is done and you should see it open up like this. Okay, so now what we need to do here is just press on this power on this machine. Click on that. Then you should see it load here on the middle of the screen. Okay, you can just say finished installation so as you can see it's now loading our windows 10 so i can even make this whole screen big but for me to exit this small screen you have to press ctrl and out together your mouse will be free again 
now you can press this icon to just make it full screen like that okay so now we're in full screen mode and from now on you should see the normal windows 10 process of installing so i'll walk you through that as well so once it loads up we should get our setup ready okay so this screen looks familiar um so here you just want to select the country or state so meaning your language that you should install okay so here you can go with your countries and everything so for now go with default like that i want to use my us keyboard then you just want to press next then you want to press on install okay so on this screen you just want to say accept license terms and then you want to press next so here we can go with custom okay click that then you should see the 60 gb we created you can just press next it will just format that one and create that as our primary petition okay so here you just need to leave it this might take time depending on your hard drive which is is it a standard or is a an ssd so if it's an ssd this process should be much faster compared to a standard drive so just give it a couple of minutes and you should see it finishing all the steps so I'll fast for the video point where it's done installing all these things then we'll go to the next step so here you can even just press restart for it let's restart now okay so the installation is almost done okay so we just leave it to open again Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help a little sign in here a touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do okay so once this is done to allow us to start putting in information so again you can choose region and everything once you choose your region just press continue or oh, yes my keyboard i want it to be set to us click that i don't want to use any other keyboard apart from that so I'll just go escape yes so you want to give it a name so in this case i'll give it the name of the channel it content like that press next okay password i'll give it a password again hint or just put whatever so the hint you can put whatever you want the hint to be so that you remember so you can go with yes so here for now leave all the settings as default but if there's something that you don't want from here you can just like tick on that and then it will turn it off so from here i can go with next okay so as you can see we are in we are in and now you have your freshly installed windows 10 so this is a fully functional windows 10 okay you can use it for anything that you would want to